Welcome to Stardew Valley. Melty Pixel here. This is my first time playing this game. I've heard a lot about it. It's apparently made by one person, uh, and the internet's just going nuts for it. Uh, I guess it's inspired by Harvest Moon. And a little bit of Animal Crossing, I guess, which sounds right up my alley. So let's just get started. All right. I guess that's me. Ooh, I can do random stuff. Nice. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, farm name. Oh, the name of my farm. Well, it's got to be Pixel Farm. Favorite thing. Um, I, this is kind of nerdy. I really like mountains. <laughs> uh, yeah. How, okay. So, wow, I can be like any color. This is great. Um, nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is great. Oh, and I can... Wow. There are even uh, color sliders and stuff. This is really impressive. Um, oh, got, got the blue anime hair there. <laughs> this is... There's so many choices. Oh, and I can... It looks like I can do ladies' haircuts, too. That's really cool. Okay. Uh, I don't like the back there, that little duck tail or whatever. That's not bad. Uh, let's give... Let's, let's give us some red hair. That's fine. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if, how I... Wait. Oh, I can change pants color, but not shirt color. Oh, suspenders feels very farmy. Okay. Whenever I do one of these, I feel like I have to, like, see every single option. And I'm going to try and restrain myself. <gasps> I can have a beard! Oh, yes. Yes, please. Okay. Oh man, I look so rugged. Um, yes. So very rugged. I'm just gonna be like a total mountain man. This is great. All right, uh, I melty pixel the mountain man. And for my very special grandson, I want, I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. <laughs> Years later. Oh, man. This looks familiar. 
Smile, you're with Joja. Oh, terminated. Oh, they just left his filthy cubicle. Is it? That looks like Woody from Toy Story. Oh, there's me. Look at me. I'm like a feral mountain man. I am not cut out for this kind of life. do it. Dear Melty, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Pixel Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Yes, if Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? I wonder who Lewis is. Great. Retro parallax background. Lots of mountains. <laughs> Hello, you must be Melty. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. So this is Robin. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, this is cute. This is Pixel Farm. <laughs> yeah, kind of a wreck. Maybe. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Oh, who's this? Ah, uh, it's Lewis. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome. I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Well, where's Pelican Town? You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. <laughs> That's one word for it, I guess. But hey, I'm a feral mountain man. <laughs> rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. I like that their uh, facial expressions change. That's cool. Rude. <laughs> little snicker. Don't listen to her, Melty. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Oh, house upgrades. Oh, man. Busted. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. This one? That one. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. 
Probably that one. Okay, controls. Pause D to move, shift to run, right click to check. Right click, interesting. What do we get? Parsnip seeds and a new journal entry. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. This, I, <laughs> look at this little animation on this. There's so many, Cute little details going on. Uh, well, okay. So left click is chop. We're just chopping in our house. That's totally fine. Okay, and this selects what we're using, and it moves depending on where we are on the screen. That's neat. Let's check the TV. What's the weather report? Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Sweet. Fortune teller. <laughs> Welcome to Wellwick's Oracle, the only show where the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you. The spirits are mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Well, I just wish I hadn't checked. Living, welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Ah, tips. So we want to chop wood and search for wild forage. Now, am I on a timer here? What's going on? Okay, it says pause. But no, when I'm when I'm out of the TV. Yeah. T time's time's going. Can I decorative bowl? Can I put that back? Whoa. I'm like rearranging furniture. Okay. Yeah. Just set that bowl there. All right. I'm going to get outside get this party started. Oh, and I can use the mouse wheel to select stuff. Cool. What, what do I do now? So, let's see. I've got an axe used to chop wood. A hoe used to dig and till soil. Watering can, water crops. Uh, a pickaxe used to break stones. A scythe uh, to cut grass into hay if I've built a silo. Parsnip seeds. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. There's a journal. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil. Then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Uh, oh, okay. So that's like a mission. Introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Oh, okay. So I've greeted two out of 28 people. Small town. Let's, uh, let's get started on, um, let's bust up some rocks. Yeah. Okay. That feels, that feels pretty good. That's a, that's a satisfying noise. And then, uh, how do I, how do I clear grass with the scythe? Oh, that's like all around me. This is great. Okay, and the tool won't like break against things if I hit the wrong thing. That's, that's awesome. This is all grass. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and we got a little pond with lily pads in here. This is super cute. Now I wonder, I wonder how this game does things. I wonder if this is like 
generated or if everything's uh, the same for everybody who plays it. Like it's all authored. Be interested in reading about that. Okay. I'll probably need an axe for this tree. Nice. So the reason uh, I decided to play this game now uh, is because tomorrow, actually, uh, I am going to be helping out on a real farm. Uh, and, you know, I just wanted to do my homework. Oh, this is going to be a huge tree. I wonder if I can even do this. I wonder if I have to eat. This is... Oh, how do I... Okay, and then I chop up the stump. Interesting. Oh, and it looks like I got seeds or something? Oh, it's down here. Mix seeds. There's a little bit of everything in here. Plant them and see what grows. A sturdy yet flexible plant material with a wide variety of uses. You don't say. Fiber, raw materials sourced from plants. Sap, a fluid obtained from trees. Negative two energy, so you probably don't want to eat raw sap. Um, but uh, I bet we can make stuff out of it. I wonder how big an area I should clear. I wonder um, what kind of setup I should do for my like planting. There's so much to consider. Yeah, get rid of this. I figure I'll just uh, start with a small area. I don't know if I can deal with this. This might just be too big. Oh, am I using the wrong thing? Yeah, I need an axe. Your axe isn't strong enough to break this stump. Okay. Just clear out uh, a decently sized area here in front of the house. Um, and that should be a good start, I think. Do it, you can do it, yeah. Uh, let's try uh, the hoe. That's the hoe, right? Yes, okay. So we've got 15 seeds. I, I expect that's like one seed per tile. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, let's do it like this. One, two, three, Four, five. One, two, oops, three, four, five. Oh, I need energy. Where do I get energy? I expect that's what that means. Let's, let's keep going, man. Do it. Persevere. Okay, all planted. Now we got a water. You're starting to feel exhausted. Hold out. I wonder if he'll just like collapse. Uh, oh, I'm moving a lot slower. Oh, uh, you can do it. Oh my goodness. Okay, we did it. Can we eat anything? It's 4.30 p.m. That's 
That seems pretty early. Um, ooh, have I got any mail? Can I check the mail? You don't have any mail. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try going into town, seeing if we can get some food. I don't know if that's like a thing in this game. This is really pretty. Okay, bus stop is that way. Pelican Town is that way. Pelican Town sounds like my best bet for uh, some food. Oh, and we've got this mixed seeds. So anything could come of that. I wonder what time our mountain man likes to go to sleep. Oh, here's a person. Harvey. Uh, he's adorable. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Good to know. Do you say anything else? I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Well, that's cool, Harvey. I wonder if I can bust up stuff in town. Oh, look, there's this little... Man, I am going so slow. I need to find some food. The Star Drop Saloon. Food and spirits. There's a couple ladies there, but I feel like it's really important that I get some food in me. Oh, there's a lot of people in here. Oops. No, go back in there. Okay. Yeah. Um... Can I get some service? Pam. <laughs> she looks like a Pam. Hey, kid. My name's Pam. Yeah? Hey, kid. I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. Yeah. Well. Gus. Oh, man. These, these names just fit perfectly. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Hi there, Melty. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. Can I get some food, man? I got low energy. Oh, what did I do? I just... Oh, no! <laughs> I fell asleep right there in the Star Drop Saloon. Oh, but they... They dragged me home. Okay. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, that seems like a good spot to take a break for today. Thanks for playing uh, Stardew Valley with me. Have a good one.